Hello, my name is Father Greg Labus. I'm pastor of St. Joseph's Church in Edinburgh, Texas, and welcome to Saint of the Week. Today we want to talk a little bit about St. Lucy, our saint for this week. St. Lucy was born in the year 283 in Sicily, Syracuse, Sicily. St. Lucy at a very early age dedicated herself to God and vowed virginity to God. Her father died at a very, uh, when she was very young, and her mother was very sickly and ill and wanted uh, Lucy to be taken care of. She was afraid that, uh, that she would not uh, have the resources necessary to live well. St. Agatha, who had been martyred under a previous uh, persecution, her shrine was near and it was reputed that uh, through the intercession of St. Agatha, uh, there were many healings. So Lucy asked her mother to, to go to the shrine of St. Agatha to where she was buried and ask for her intercession for healing, which according to tradition, she was healed. And because uh, her mother was concerned about Lucy's future, she betrothed her to a rich nobleman who was a pagan. However, Lucy did not want to marry a pagan nobleman. And because of this, according to tradition, he reported her to the, the Roman governor. The Roman governor then came to her and uh, asked her to offer incense to the emperor, which she refused because she was a Christian. Because of this, they tried to uh, execute her, but they were not successful. And one legend says that she gouged out her eyes so that her pagan uh, nobleman that was, she was betrothed to would not want her. St. Lucy uh, was martyred then under the Diocletian persecution in 304, which is uh, rather sad in some ways because it was not many years later that Christianity became legal in the Roman Empire under the Emperor Constantine, perhaps maybe only about 10 years after her death. St. Lucy is the patron saint of the blind and all those with uh, uh, eye disease. She's also the patron saint of Sicily and in particular the city of Syracuse in, uh, on the island of Sicily. St. Lucy's feast day is December 13th She's also one of the women uh, saints and martyrs mentioned in the Roman canon of the mass. There is also quite a number of traditions uh, in the world, especially in Scandinavia. Young girls are dressed in white and they wear a wreath in their hair with candles uh, lit to commemorate the light uh, that Lucy represents. Indeed, the, this light and in this darkest time of, of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, we are reminded that not only does Lucy's name derive from the Latin word lux for light, but it points to something greater. It points to Jesus Christ, who he himself says, I am the light of the world. And indeed, Lucy was faithful in following Jesus Christ, even into death. She was faithful in following him as a disciple and gave her life in witness to the love that God has for us in his son, Jesus Christ. So if you ever have problems with your eyes, if you have any kind of disease of the eye or you're having problems with your eyes, pray to St. Lucy, ask for her intercession so that through her intercession, you may receive healing of sight. In particular, sight to see Christ clearly in your life. May God bless you and keep you. And this has been Saint of the Week.